Hi there, it's me again, Alexis R. Osorio, and today we are going to have grade 8 mathematics about linear equations in two variables. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to find the solutions of the linear equations in two variables. A linear equation in two variables is an equation that can be written in the form ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c are real numbers, but a and b cannot be zero. ax plus by is equal to z is also known as the standard form of a linear equation. Don't forget that this ax plus by is equal to c is the standard form of linear equation because we can use this in our next lesson. Okay, in the linear equation, we also have a solution. What is a solution? A solution of linear equation in two variables is an ordered pair that makes a true mathematical statement of the equation. Meaning to say, uh, every linear equation has a solution. Okay, uh, the solution will satisfy the equation. Let's start with this, or let's have example. Complete the following ordered pairs so that they satisfy the equation 2x plus y equals 1. Okay, so yung 2x plus y equals 1 natin ay standard form of linear equation or equation na nasa standard form. Para malaman natin ang solution ng 2x plus y is equal to 1, meron tayong letter A dito. Ito daw ay solution pero wala ang ating x coordinate. Ang meron lang tayo is the y coordinate. So we are going to find the value of the x coordinate. Okay. So alam naman natin na ang um, Given natin sa letter A is in the form x, y, at nawawala nga si x coordinate. So, paano natin mahahanap yan? So, first, write down the given equation. 2x plus y is equal to 1. What should we do next? Okay, next. Dahil ang given natin is y coordinate lang, which is negative 5, papalitan natin ngayon from the equation C, si y. Yung y natin magiging negative 5. So, it will become 2x minus 5 equals 1. Next. So, to solve this equation, uh, we need to eliminate negative 5 from the left side of the equation. So, we are going to think of the additive inverse of negative 5. The additive inverse of negative 5 is positive 5. Okay, so... Uh, pag pinagsama natin si negative 5 and positive 5, it will become 0. If you are going to add positive 5 to the left side of the equation, you should also add positive 5 to the right side of the equation. And this process is known as APE or Addition Property of Equality. So ito ay natutunan ninyo nung kayo ay grade 7. So, therefore, it will become 2x is equal to 6. Okay, next. Uh, ang hinahanap natin is x coordinate. So, para malaman natin si x coordinate, we are going to find the value of x. But, in this case, we still have 2 in the variable x. So, kailangan din natin ma-eliminate si positive 2. So, how are we going to eliminate positive 2? Okay, so we will also use another property of equality, which is known as the MPE. So, this time, uh, hanapin naman natin yun, si multiplicative inverse of 2, or its reciprocal, so which is 1 half. Because if we multiply 1 half to 2, that will be 1. So, kung magmumultiply tayo ng 1 half sa left side, the same thing to the right side. And after using MPE, 
x is equal to 3 because 6 times 1 half that is equal to 3. Thus, the ordered pair is 3, negative 5. So, ang solution natin dito sa 2x plus y is equal to 1. Given natin is yung letter A, negative 5 ang y coordinate. Ang solution natin is 3, negative 5. Okay, so don't forget that the solution is always an ordered pair or coordinates. Alright, next. There is another given here in letter B. Uh, ang solution though is negative 2 and then blank C Y coordinate. So this time we are going to find the value of the Y coordinate. Okay, so same process. Copy first the equation which is 2X plus Y is equal to 1. But this time, ang uh, sa substitute natin is value X coordinate. X ang papalitan natin. So this will become 2 times negative 2 plus y equals 1. Negative 2 ang ipinalit natin dahil yun ang given. So in this case, we are going to find the y coordinate. So let's simplify. 2 times negative 2 that is equal to negative 4. Copy the other part plus y equals 1. Okay, so dapat y lang ang nasa kaliwa since we are just looking for the y coordinate. So we need to think of the additive inverse again of negative 4. What do you think is the additive inverse of negative 4? Correct. That is positive 4. So you need to add positive 4 to both sides by uh, this is by APE or addition property of equality. So therefore, y is equal to 5. So nakuha na natin si y coordinate. Thus, the ordered pair is negative 2, 5. Alright. So the solutions, okay, we have two solutions here. Two in the equation 2x plus y is equal to 1 are 3, negative 5 negative 2, positive 5. So, how are we going to find out if the answer or the solutions are correct? So, for us to find out, let's do the checking. You can do this so that you can uh, know if your answer or solution is correct. So, ang given natin is 2x plus y is equal to 1. At ang nakuha nating solutions ay... 3, negative 5, negative 2, 5. Okay, so hindi lang ito ang mga solutions natin dito sa 2x plus y is equal to 1. These are just 2 of the solutions. Okay, so let's check the first solution. First, copy the equation. 2x plus y is equal to 1. Ang x coordinate natin, ang ipapalit natin kay x ay 3. Ipapalit natin kay y is negative 5. So, let's do it. 2 times 3 minus 5 equals 1. So, in this part, pinalitan lang natin si x ng positive 3, si y ng negative 5. Let's simplify. Okay, so that is by substitution. Let's simplify. 2, th 2 times 3 is equal to 6 minus 5 is equal to 1. 6 minus 5 is equal to 1 also. So, kapag dito sa bandang babang part, naging equal na sila, therefore, the solution is correct. Okay, so, the first solution is correct. How about the second solution? The same process in checking, substitute uh, the value of x and y in the solution or in the equation. That should be 2 times negative 2 plus 5 is equal to 1. Simplify. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 plus 5 is equal to 1. Negative 4 plus 5, what is the answer? Negative 4 plus 5, that is also equal to 1. Dito sa lower part, they are also equal. Therefore, 
the answer or the solution is also correct. Okay, so kapag ka hindi nag-equal yung nasa babang part, meaning to say there is something wrong with your answer. So you need to go back to the first step to check. Okay? For activities, find the solution of the linear equation by completing the table. So this is our table. The given equation is 3x plus y equals 2. Meron na tayong values ng x coordinate. We need to find the values of y coordinate and its ordered pair in the form x, y. So let us start to find the first solution. Kung saan ang x natin is negative 2. So first step, copy hence the equation, 3x plus y equals 2. And then ang papalitan natin is x coordinate. That is negative 2. So 3 times negative 2 plus y equals 2. Let us just simplify. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. And then copy, plus y equals 2. Now, we are looking for the value of y. So, think of additive inverse of negative 6. And that is, uh, by the use of APE, magdadagdag tayo ng positive 6 to both sides. And simplifying it, y is equal to 8. So, ang y coordinate natin is... 8. Kung nakuha na natin si y coordinate, meron na tayong unang solution, which is x coordinate natin negative 2. Nasa unahan, followed by 8. So that should be negative 2, positive 8. Alright. How about the second solution, which is the value of x is negative 1. Copy the equation. Substitute negative 1 to x. 3 times negative 1 plus y is equal to 2. 3 times negative 1 plus y is equal to 2. It becomes negative 3 plus y is equal to 2. Use ABE again. So add 3 to both sides and that will be y is equal to 5. So, ang y-coordinate natin ay positive 5. So, the solution is negative 1, 5. So, now, I will give you, I think, um, 3 minutes to find the solution uh, of this equation. 3x plus y is equal to 2 if the given value of x is 0, 1, and 2. Okay, uh, I think 1 minute. All right, uh, let's see if your answer in the y coordinate, if x is 0, if your answer is 2, that is correct. And the solution is 0, 2. If x is positive 1, y is negative 1. The solution is 1, negative 1. If the value of x is positive 2, the value of y is negative 4. The solution is 2, positive 4. Alright. Okay, so I think nakasunod naman kayo. And uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something about on how to find the solutions of linear equations in two variables.
Okay, if you have questions or you have other concerns, you can write down your comment below. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you.